So I want to show you how you can add your Twitch chat to your OBS using stream elements. It's super simple. Let's get into it. <laughs> So if you haven't heard of Stream Elements, it is a great resource to add different overlays to your stream. Things like alerts, chat widgets, and all that good fancy stuff. It's super easy to create an account. All you have to do is go to streamelements.com, link in the description. Go to get started and then add your Twitch account or your YouTube account to get started. So once you get logged in, you're going to come up to a page that looks like this. We're going to come over to stream tools and then go down to overlays. And inside of here, you want to go ahead and create a new overlay to get started. Your overlay should be at 1080p. That is the canvas size that we're going to be working in inside of OBS. So go ahead and hit start. All right. So you want to come down to this plus button down here and then click stream tools and then your stream chat. This will add a little black box here. This box can be customized so that it's transparent or a different color, however you want it. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but first I wanna show you how you can test and see that this is actually working for your stream. A cool hack that you can do to test out your streaming chat on Twitch is to type in your URL, twitch.tv slash popout slash your username slash chat. This is like your live chat actually. So no one else can see this. You don't have to go live to test your chat ever. You just use this URL and you can test as much as you want. So here we can do a few test posts just to see our chat pop up. All right. And then in back in stream elements, you can see that our test was successful here. It is pulling from our chat. So before we customize this, let me show you how to add this to your OBS. So in order to add the chat to your OBS, we're going to add a browser source in our sources. You're going to hit that plus button to go up to browser, Twitch chat, hit OK. And you should see this new box pop up here. You want to go ahead and make this the same size as your canvas size in uh, stream elements. So we're going to make this 1080p and all the other settings are fine. We're just going to hit OK. And you can see it takes up the entire screen now. You want to go ahead and double click back into this and we're going to take this URL and change it to what stream elements gives us. So we're going to go back to stream elements here and at the very top, you see this little chain symbol that is to copy the overlay URL. We're going to go ahead and click that and come back into OBS and paste that into the URL there and hit OK. And you can see now it's transparent because it's showing our overlay. And as you can see, it's not showing our chat and that's because we haven't saved stream elements yet. So we're going to go back to stream elements and save huge, huge tip. Always save after you do everything because you actually don't, it doesn't show in real time your changes until you hit the save button. So now back in OBS, you can see we have the chat here in the corner. And if you wanted to move this around without going into your uh, stream elements, you can just click the layer and move it around as such here You can also resize it. But uh, if you wanted to do all of these settings and customize it, it's best to go back into your stream elements and do that it live. Cool. So let me show you how to customize your chat and make it transparent like you probably want it to be. So over here on the left, you're going to see this column here. All you have to do is click the theme button here and go to custom and you should it should automatically go into transparent because that is the default for custom. Um, basically, what it's doing is taking this background layer and making this whole thing transparent by bringing that thing all the way down over here. So if if this meter is say it's black or something or it's red um, and it's it's showing, you wanna just click the little button over here, this background color, go into it and bring down this bar on the far right until it's clear, hit select and it should become transparent. You wanna go ahead and hit save. So you could kinda see it right there. <laughs> Now we want to go ahead and customize the font, the color of the font and all that good stuff. I'll show you how to do that. So in stream elements, it's in the same area. You want to come over to text settings and here you're going to get all of the different settings for your font, for uh, the size of the font. So there's a lot you can do in here. You can change the size, you can change the font, you can change the color of the actual text that comes in. You can add a shadow to the text so it pops a little bit more if you want. You can even add an outline stroke to your text, but you know, we're getting kind of crazy here. I'm just trying to show you exactly everything that you can do with this. And then if you go back into OBS, you can see that our chat is right below my camera there and it is 
looking fine and it's bigger so you can see it. And if you have any questions at all, you can always comment down below or you can join my free community. Link is in the description. I also have a course inside the community that teaches you how to get monetized. In that course, I walk you through the exact way I got monetized on YouTube. So join the community. I'll be in there to help you out. Adding chat to your stream is just like half the battle. You should also add alerts. And in this video over here, I show you exactly how to do that with stream elements. It's also pretty easy. Go ahead and check out that video and I'll see you over there.